Hello, welcome back to Two Minute Teacher Tech. My name is Adam Howard, and I'm here today to tell you that finally, Google Docs loves math. With GMath, a new Google Docs and Forms add-on, you're able to easily create mathematical expressions, graphs, statistical displays, and handwriting entries into a Google Doc or Form. This add-on is very easy to use, and it's free, which is a big plus, and it'll only take me a minute to get you up and running, so let's take a look at it. All right, to get started, the first thing you want to do is type in GMath into the search bar there. You're going to click on this link, and you're going to hit Add. That's going to open up a Google document, and it's going to ask you to allow some permissions. And then once you do that, you're able to go up to the Add-on button, and after a moment, it will show up there, and it will show you the four types of things you can create with this. Mathematical expressions, graphs, statistical displays, or handwriting entry. We're going to go through these one at a time. Okay, the first one is going to open up this box right here, which you can type in simple mathematical expressions, or you're able to scroll down and enter it with your voice, of voice to math. There we go, which is really cool. And then it has various types of mathematical expressions that you're able to click on and just modify and import those to save yourself some time, which is really neat. All right, just like that. And there you go, that's all there is to it. All right, and then we're able to go up to add-ons again and look at the next one, which is create a graph. It's going to give you the basic graph parameters there that you can modify, or you have some uh, various math tools down here at the bottom that you're able to choose from to modify your, uh, your graph. Once you import that, you can resize it and use it however you would like. All right, now with the statistical data set, you just put a data set in, you uh, give it a name, and then it's going to give you three different types of displays to choose from here. There we go. Very cool, and then you insert that, and there you go, and you can resize those also. Now the handwriting entry is really cool. All you do is you just uh, handwrite them out and then Google Docs is going to read it, convert it, and you're able to import it. All right, well that does it for our first look at GMath for Google Docs and Google Forms. This is a great and simple tool for integrating mathematics into your Google Classroom and for allowing your students to easily collaborate in a math setting. I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you have, please hit like and subscribe below. And each week, Two Minute Teacher Tech will bring you the latest in classroom technology and teacher hacks in a concise and easy to follow way that respects your time budget. Thanks, and we'll see you next week.